Welcome to another episode of Coffee with April. This time, we're going to take a closer look at this. Now, what is this? What is it that I'm actually holding in my hand? Well, what I'm holding in my hand is a result of about six months of work at the moment, where it's time for April to create her own coffee brewer. At the moment, this brewer was kind of battle tested during the world Brewers Championship in um, Brazil. And we got some really good results and therefore we're moving into phase number two, which is finalizing the version of this and putting it into production. This little video is just kind of a teaser showing you what is about to come, uh, telling you a few kind of functions and features that we have been working on with this brewer. Um, we're not reinventing the wheel, this is a version of something that has already been out there for quite some time. So in terms of manual drip brew filters, personally, I've always appreciate the V60. The reason for that is because it has a faster or the fastest, most consistent flow rate, meaning that the water goes to the coffee faster with the V60 brewer than other drip style brewers. However, in terms of consistency, the Kalita, being a flatbed brewer, has always been something that's been performing very, very well. But the traditional flow rate of a flatbed brewer, I believe, is way too slow. I still believe that to be able to brew really tasty coffee, you need that water to go through the coffee faster. You're extracting higher quality flavor notes that are cleaner and a lot more intense. So, what I'm doing, or what we've done here, is that we experiment with different versions of the flatbed brewer where we can actually increase the flow rate. Meaning, how can we have that water go through faster even if we work with a large flatbed? Now, we've been testing a lot of different versions. In production, we have two different versions at the moment, which is basically a slightly different structure to the bottom of the brewer. Both of them are done with relatively thick ceramic, which is keeping the temperature stable, but it's also allowing the temperature decrease to happen throughout the brew, as we don't want the same temperature going on throughout the whole brew, right? So it's been a very interesting product, something we've been working with, something that we're gonna launch in early 2019, and it's gonna be available for you guys as well. Uh, it makes a lot of sense for us to find a way to brew our coffee. I believe that roasting and brewing is very connected. How the coffee is roasted determines how the coffee should be brewed, and we don't want to be limited to the brew brewing options that are already out there, even though a lot of those are actually very good. But we believe that we can always do better, which is why we've been down this journey, and this is why we're exploring and will bring to you very soon the April Brewer. Now stay tuned, this was just a teaser, more on this will come in the future. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please note them down, down here as always. Thank you.